during the Great Depression, which I'm old enough to remember, there was, and most of my family were unemployed working class, it was bad. But there was an expectation that things were going to get better. There isn't today. Noam Chomsky has made two international reputations. The most important intellectual alive, America's leading dissenter. He has listed in anybody's catalog as among the top heroes of the new left. He is among the eight most quoted thinkers ever. Inequality is really unprecedented. It's like the worst periods of American history. The effect of the concentration of wealth is to yield concentration of power. Not only is it extremely unjust in itself, inequality has highly negative consequences on the society as a whole, because the very fact of inequality has a corrosive, harmful effect on democracy. This is a result of over 30 years of a shift in social and economic policy, completely against the will of the population. It goes back to the founding of the country. If you read the debates at the Constitutional Convention, James Madison, the main framer, said the major concern of the society has to be to protect the minority of the opulent against the majority. If you look at the history of the United States, it's a constant struggle between these two tendencies. Pressure for more freedom and democracy coming from below, and efforts at elite control and domination coming from above. You open by talking about the American dream. Part of the American dream is class mobility. You're born poor, you work hard, you get rich. It's all collapsed.